One of the most difficult things that we struggle with is regular maintenance on equipment. And as we're kind of winding down, getting to the end of the season and have more free time, the equipment comes home from jobs and we've got opportunities to do regular maintenance. Well, it's not regular. This would be seasonal maintenance. So some of those things include changing oil, transmission, hydraulic fluids, tightening tracks, some of those things that that throughout the work season that maybe we didn't get to or that we didn't give enough attention. Some of the other things that we've done this year is, is new teeth on the buckets, new cutting edges on the excavator buckets. Um, we've got that six foot grading bucket and we've got a rock bucket here that we put new teeth on and it's, it's, you can get a lot of wear out of those teeth. You can run them right down to, to, to the nub, right down to nothing. But we found that they cut a lot better. They work a lot better when they're sharp. And so it's worth that additional money of changing the teeth regularly to, to have that machine working as efficiently as possible. So again, that's just some of the, the annual maintenance that we do that's in addition to regular maintenance like greasing and oiling and oil, oil changes and those types of things that may be more regular on the schedule. But it's, it's a full-time job trying to, to keep up on the maintenance and in addition to get the work done and keep projects moving forward. Throughout the year, there are certain projects, like if we've got a big road building project, then we'll, we'll make upgrades to equipment that maybe hasn't gotten upgrades in a few years. This year, we put new tires on the road grader because we had, we had a couple of miles of road to build and we were gonna be working the heck out of that road grader and it needed some new tires. I couldn't afford to have a breakdown on the job and not be able to, finish the job so got new tires they got new cutting edges they got a full service and then as we started that job I knew that we were going to be able to well have a better shot at getting the job completed with that maintenance done and so it's it's kind of an interesting thing on the equipment that's older and that it's paid for it's almost like there's still payments on that equipment. You want to be putting money away so that when the time comes and you need that new tires or new cutting edges or whatever it might be, that you've got the money in the bank to service that equipment and keep it running so it can keep making you money. We're putting new tires on the grader and a lot of people said that they're, they're not aggressive tires or they're not, they're not knobby enough. Part of the reason that I made the decision on this tire and this tire tread is that the grader does a lot of compaction on the road as it's traveling back and forth, compacting material, and these tires do a better job of compacting and making it flat. So I can run this grader down the road, I can crab walk and, and offset the back from the front just slightly and roll that road with these tires. And a great big heavy duty tractor tire doesn't lay it in as smooth as these do and they're these are some really good tires they came highly recommended so far uh, I've been impressed One of the things we're working on this winter is clearing out this five acre piece. We recently purchased this five and a half acre piece and our plan is to put up a barn where we can put tools, store equipment, and have a place to do some of that maintenance, whether it's regular maintenance or annual maintenance or whatever it might be, 
So we're clearing a lot. There's some, some sod piles, there's some rock and gravel. We've got a lot, a lot of cleanup to do. Typically we wouldn't start a project like that, like, like this right now, but it's, the weather is warm, there's no snow on the ground, and we can deal with a little bit of mud. The barn will let us take care and do maintenance through the winter when we have these slower times when we can't be out building roads or working on other projects. So this is the start of building a barn. Some of you might recognize this property. We, we this, this five and a half acre piece is adjacent to the 40 acre piece where we've been developing houses over the last couple of years. Really enjoy this area. We, we like being close to town. We like being close to the highway. It's, I can get to Starbucks in three minutes. We're Home Depot in four. Um, and so this area is really close. And, and we've spent a lot of time out here and really like this area. So when this opportunity came to pick up an adjacent parcel, I, I knew that I, I wanted to jump on it. I had to have it. I wanted to be out here. I really have had a great time working on this development project the last couple of years. Um, all of the parcels have sold and there's houses on, I think, I think there's foundations on seven out of the eight parcels and finished houses on half of that. In another, by the end of next year, I, my guess is that there'll be houses built on every single parcel. 